What you want to do is craft an irresistible email offer, which is different again to a Facebook ad because you've got more room. You've got a bit more room to move. You've got a little bit more um, real estate to play with because you've got someone's attention. The two big most important parts are obviously going to be your subject line and then also obviously the copy and call to action are going to be big on this. But if you can do this and do this properly, it's a free way Number one, for you to provide value to someone else, dig your well before you're thirsty. Number two, it's a free way for you to be able to generate lead gen and inquiry uh, that is a lot warmer. Now, what most people would do, let's just say that Jimmy who's on here, um, he wanted to do an exchange with me and I wanted to do an exchange with him to his database. Right, what most people would do is they send out an email being like, hey, this is Jimmy, he's good, here's his like, you know, put in his email copy, blah, 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 inner circle, helping gym owners, all this fun stuff call to action, probably to generate a lead inquiry or phone number, not normally go straight to a sale. And then, um, and then vice versa, he'd do a similar email out to his database. Works, it does work. However, what happens is one of two things, um, and there's, these are the two opportunities that you have to amplify that strategy even more so, is number one, obviously we all only get certain amount of open rates being 25% maybe if you're good, 30%, 10% if your um, list hasn't been nurtured very well, right? So what most people don't do is they don't then go actually commit to each other and be like, let's actually mail three times. We'll mail first time, right? We'll get our 25% open rate. Then we'll mail again to all the people that haven't opened with a different subject line. And then we'll mail again to everyone that doesn't open that second email with a different subject line again. Because su the subject line is what the most important part is because that's got to get the initial attention. That's got to get us our email open. If we can get the email open, then we're on track. Then we're off to the races. Um, then it's the copy's job to sell them on the next click, to sell them on the opt-in, whatever it might be. So we have that, those opportunities, right? But that's on that call to action email. What you could do as well is in advance, one to two emails, right? Um, one to two emails. Yeah, Carolyn just said, uh, that's good. Didn't know to email again. Yeah, if you can do that, you can triple your open rate. You can go from like a 20, 25%, almost 60, 70% if you can do that by emailing those that have opened, uh, sorry, that haven't opened the email with a different subject line. And if you do that three times, again, you'll get close to, you'll probably get like 25%, 15%, 10%. So you'll get a total closer to 50% rather than 25. So more like a double, um, but that's still pretty epic. But what you want to do then in advance is you need to have one to two emails of warm up that don't have a call to action. Because if it's a new audience that you're getting in front of um, or a new database, let's say Carolyn's like, hey, Kim, like I want to do that with you. I've got a, a good database, but maybe my audience hasn't heard about her yet. I would want to do one to two value emails first, warming up to her. Right, warming up, introducing, talking about why she's someone of authority, why she's someone of uh, pertinent importance, why she's someone that you should listen to. Then on my third email, after I've told you how amazing Carolyn is and she's the best and blah, 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 and you're like, oh, cool. I wonder what this Carolyn chick does, right? Kim seems to be speaking about her all the time. Then what we do is then we go in with the call to action email, right? Then we go in for the direct call to action and be like, hey, this is what we need. This is what I'd like you to do. This is what the offer is. It's free. Of course, you want to take it up. You by now know how amazing this person is. Uh, and it's a little bit easier. So if you can get that level of agreement with a strategic partner, it works so much better.